Vikings playoffs, boys. We made the playoffs. A huge step for this Minnesota franchise that started in absolute shambles. This franchise started in shambles. When we got this team, did we have any abilities outside of the quarterback? No, I think we had unpredictable on the D-tackle. That's what we had. That was our only ability. We built this team up. Let me go over the team because a lot of you guys might not be following this. This might be your first video. This might be your first stream. What happened with this league? This is the second year of the league. I picked up this team prior to the draft. I missed the first year, which means I missed buying abilities. You can buy abilities every year. One superstar, one X factor. You can age reduce people. So I missed the whole round of that. I missed the whole round of training. And I got left with this. My team was computer drafted. Let's check out my roster. A lot of you guys missed. A lot of you guys don't know. And I haven't really gone over the roster a lot. So I'll check out the roster right here that we made the playoffs with. Kyler Murray, 99 overall. Obviously, every quarterback in this league is boosted to 90 overall. So if I was drafting, I wouldn't have Kyler Murray. I would have some shitter. Even Ryan Tannehill would be great because he's a little bit mobile and they would boost him. But, you know, the computer drafted Kyler Murray. So that's who we have. Joe Mixon. A lot of people told me to trade him, but he's actually been carrying us on running plays, throwing the ball out of the backfield. He's been a beast. Uh, I would trade him. I, I really don't think he has a lot of value more than what he does for our offense, boys. So I like him. He's a good – that's a card that had abilities for us. Quez Watkins, our best receiver, 97 speed. We made sure he got short and elite. That's all he has is short and elite, which, if you guys know, it fries non-press coverage. Off coverage, uh, shade up coverage, he's going to fry. If you press him, it's going to kind of negate it, especially with some uh, one-step aheads and stuff like that. Then, outside of Quez Watkins, we really have nothing. Tim Patrick – Isaiah McKenzie, Will Fuller. These are the boys we've been playing with. Uh, no abilities on anybody else. Pat Fire moved the fan favorite, 91 overall. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. <sighs> Pat is kind of a beast. He's kind of a beast. I'm not going to say nothing bad about him. Uh, one of the things I've, I've taken some time to get used to on Fire Move is that he gets open. The problem is that window to throw, because he has 83 speed and his route runners aren't great, that window is so much smaller than what I'm used to in Mutt with the Unicorn or Gronk or whatever tight end that's open the whole play. When you get a slow tight end, he's open for a little bit. Boom. We also have two O-linemen. The one thing I did buy, they said, you got to make sure you get abilities. The number one thing I wanted to do was make sure I had a secure protector so I never lost the double edge threats in a CFM. Uh, the one way you lose, and I lost the second tournament of the year this year in MCS because of the double stack edge threat, double or nothing. I lost that. So my first goal was I'm going to make sure my offensive line can stand up. I traded my first round pick for Quentin Nelson, and I also used one of my superstars on our boy here, Jedrick Willis, and gave him secure protector. So I used all my buildup that I had to be able to buy abilities within the league and all my assets to trade for two secure protectors. You can't do anything, no matter how good the rims and the wheels and the window tint on the car looks with your wide receivers, they cannot work well if you cannot block, especially edge threats, double or nothing. So that was my first thought. That was what I spent a lot of this year getting good, making sure my team, that was the, the foundation of the team. Defense, we got our boy JFK, also known as John Franklin Myers. We don't really have abilities on defense at all. The one place we do, we do have Derek Brown, defensive tackle. He's really good. We got double or nothing on him, I believe. He is 70 speed, though. He's not that fast, but he is a beast. I'll give him credit. This is probably my best defensive player, Derek Brown. I also have rookie, our boy Lamar Dotson, with 85 speed, decent pass rusher. You see him right here with the 91 tackle and the 84 finesse move. So those are my, those are my pass rushers. Uh, my defense, uh, we don't use linebackers. Our corners, we have studs. We have studs. With Jarius Sneed, Jamil Dean, even our boy William Jackson is really, really good. The problem is these guys have no abilities. Now, it, sound, <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy, but it, it's completely true. They, they, you know, they can't play good man coverage. They can't knock the ball out, so they're not... As OP as somebody, you know, a lesser corner with ability. So 
one thing I want to do in offseason is make sure one of these guys is a superstar development and get hell of abilities. One of my one thing I'm gonna do. Safety, we have nobody. We have Xavier McKinney, Brandon Stevens, and our boy, our boy, fan favorite, Greg Jr. 92 speed, 64 zone. He is one of the leaders on defense. He's a beast. So this is my team. This is what I got. If you guys have been paying attention to it because everybody else had an extra year, I mean, I'm going up against some way better teams, but I'm a way better player. That's what I should be. It's been fun. It's been a great year. We're going to run through the playoffs right now. Here we go. All right, I will update these as we see the Patriots win over here. Um, we see the Colts beat the Browns. Um, Cerebral beat Richie. And we got my versus Mexi Bron. And I got to play Pluto. Now, this Pluto kid, honestly, apparently he's like a 14-year-old. And I've been popping him. Well, I haven't been popping him. But every time I've played him, we've, we've come out with a dub in our life. And he reminds me of the young kids, maybe like the D-Cross. I'm not going to say that. But when they're young, like, all right, they're still beatable. But this kid is like primed to become one of the best. Or like just become a better player the older he gets. So uh, we're going to have our hands full. I did play him earlier, I believe, in one of the Eagles CFM. And we got the dub. So definitely got to lock it in for this game. I mean, honestly, his name is sorry get egged. I really don't know what's going to happen. My hands are cold. About to break out the hand warmers. 11 mighty. 11 mighty. I mean, the first one, I understand. That second one, I mean, I was just like stupid. We have to play man. There's no way you play zone. We're good, dude. We're good. All right. He not going to catch that first, that second one that often. I mean, dude, are we serious out here, my man? Uh... My dudes are getting crushed to hell, man. This is just <laughs> not ideal right now. All right, we're good. Come on, man. Come on, man. I want to catch me best bouncing off my hands. Mixing. Come on, man. It's just the same real combo every play, dude. Come on. I mean, this is like, dude, no, I, like, nobody's getting open on my team. We got Quez and we got Mixing, dude. This is tough. It's tough, dude. It's <laughs> It's, it's, it's tough. I can't lie, it's tough, man. Oh my God. Oh, it's like Jesus Christ, dude. Dog, where is my run commit at? What the f Oh my god, man. No. Ah, back to the sweat fest, man. No f way! Like, bro, how do we cross the line right there?
God, this is smart enough to take away that play. Alright, come on, man. Play some fucking stuff. We figure it out right here. I mean, this is so fucking man. This is so like, sad, dude. Let's sir, let's go. I'm telling you, that one not gonna keep working, bro. Dog player, man. I mean, Joe, I just can't get a two seconds, bro. We can't get two seconds. Right Fuck, man. God damn it, man. I th that play just, I, I just cannot run PA shot. PA shot, whatever that is, I can't run that play. It just doesn't. It, I just get shut it so fast on that play. It's sad. Omaha. Come on, Kyler, you gotta hit that ass, bro. Oh my god, dude, my dudes are just so strapped right now, dude. Man, that's all from the first play. It's all for trying to run PA shots. I just can never run that play. That play sucks. Come on, man. What are we doing? There we go. Perfect. Come on. I want. I don't want to clock. It. I want to score a touchdown. I want to make sure I can score a touchdown. I'm not not scoring a touchdown there. I could I could have milked the whole clock and tied the game up, but I want no nah, that ass. I want a touchdown. Let me just all day. Come on, boys. Eleven mighty. Eleven mighty. See, I could have milked. I, I, I like 21 to 20 is better than 17 17. As much as I wish I would have played better defense there, like for real, but you know, I. It's hard for me to play defense. I really just want to. That's why I wanted, I didn't turn down that touchdown. As CFM is different than Mutt. Maybe it's easier for me to guarantee me running in the end zone right there with like on the one yard line. I'm not used to like a guaranteed rushing touchdown. You feel me, boys? Like that's, I'm not used to that. Maybe CFM, you can guarantee like a stretch gets in. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm used to Mutt where like if you get inside the two, that shit ain't guaranteed. Maybe, but I just saw, I just, I'm used to mutt where like a score like that's not guaranteed, you know? Come on, you bum ass kid. High ball that, you stupid 12 year old got the thumbs of a elderly man. Quez and Mixon, that's all I got, man. All I got, Quez and Mixon, bro. All I got. That's all we got. That's all we need. 
mean, boys, we brought the extra person and everything right there, boys. Come on, man. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Bro, there's no way that he's just blocked that many people right there. Like, these dudes are just getting absolutely left. Oh, oh my god. Thank you, boys. Show up one time for the one time. Defense. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh my god, dude. And show up, D line. One play. All I need from y'all is one play. Good play. God. I tried to send him and clicked on and he playmakered him up. That was a good playmaker up. It's just I can't, dude. I just can't. I tell him I, I tried to crash down my line to just make him not be able to stand there like that. We're just not getting them. We're not like we're not even coming close to getting home once, man. I like playing against two men on there, honestly. I really do. Oh, there's just no way all these dudes get off these blocks that quick like that, man. I mean, that was like the best purple zone I've ever seen. Let's go, Wes. Good in this game. I mean, dog, he has like the best pocket I've ever seen players have on a th five out every play, dude. I like, oh my god, I need somebody to fight a little bit, dude. We put inside stuff on Derek Brown, and he can't get a he can't do. Shit. Oh my god, I gotta just send some more people sometimes, man. No way! Oh, there's just no way! Oh my god, there's no way you fumbled that! Oh my god! Oh, there's just no way you fumbled that! Oh my god, it's just no f man. Here we go. Oh, 11 MT, 11 MT. That's way over Just run the f ball, man. How do you like have first and goal on the f one and you just let you just let like dude? That's my fault, man. Oh my god, that's sickening. But it's like, it's first and goal on the one. Like, how do you just, I just thought you just would get a free run from it there. I just got to know CFM that dude, like. No way y'all don't touch him right there. Get the f out of here, man. God damn, bro, my D-line got to show the f up, man.
I, I just can't cover any of these dudes, man. Eleven mighty! Eleven mighty! There's just no f***ing way that this is a completed p Dog, suck my d I again, like, are, just, are we serious? God! Man! I can't believe he fumbled the ball. I, I just honestly cannot fumble the f He fumbled that f ball, dude. I cannot believe he fumbled that sh Because why the f*** would you not? It's just like, it's just a head move to f not run commit right there. It really is. I I, I just got to learn that CFM, you just stopped the run by for free. Apparently. Apparently, CFM is the easiest running game in the world. Like, I don't know how you don't run commit first and goal on the one yard line. Like, f twice in a row, too. I just feel like it's a head move to not run commit there. If you stop, I just don't understand. Just the way I think. If you get a first and goal on the one and you run commit and stop him and make me lose yards, I can kick a field goal. Like, that's how you get a stop in the red zone. I really don't think people would watch a stream on run commit and not. That's super crap. That, people wouldn't do that. I would I would have ran commit 100%. That's why I stopped him before half by run committing. That, that's my fault. I overthought that, dude. Kid's a scrub, dude. Like, I'll be honest, though, only in this mode have I ever seen the fumble instead of a throw. I've never seen a quarterback fumble like that. They all just so happy I lose. That's all of them. They all so happy. But this is the thing. You guys got to understand, right? This is, and honestly, I'm normally like, this is like one of my best. This is honestly one of my best skills as a man player, right? So I guess I would have ran him in on first down. Because my thought is, if you let somebody just run three downs for one yard, they're going to get it eventually. But if you can if you can run commit and get a loss of three on first down, now you have second and goal inside the five, right? Or you got second and goal on the five, right? So it's harder to you're not gonna be able to run then. So a a a run commit on first down is the best down to do it because you can make them lose yards backwards, you know, and it's worth it because if you give them three downs to run without run committing, then you're gonna what you call it? They're gonna get in eventually. So that's why I always like especially first and goal on the one. Because odds are you're going to run it anyway. So that's why I went for a pass, bro. But that's why I went for a pass on first down to run commit, right? He's going to run commit on first down. I didn't get the pass. I overthrew the flat route, which I really wasn't going to throw, but I saw him wide open, so I threw it. He overthrew it. Kyler Murray smoked that pass. Okay, so here's my thought process. Okay, there's guaranteed. It's guaranteed that he's going to run commit on second down, right? Right? If it, I mean... And he didn't run coming on second down. And I just wanted to run away and throw the ball away. And I went to throw it away and they gave me a fumble instead of a throw away. It is what it is. I 100% probably just overthought just overthought it. But I think you run commit there. Honestly, I, I, I have underrated how easy it is to run the ball in this mode. Both in shotgun and in, and in under center. So for me, like I said, I am 100% thinking that one yard is hard to get that's why i didn't fall on the ground before half i didn't want to i didn't want to risk not getting a touchdown you know and i and, and this is the biggest thing i didn't want to i didn't want to kick a field goal because i would only been up four points uh, i wanted to score a touchdown you know so i wanted to get a free touchdown